What's up, Raider Nation? This is Raider Joe. I'm back at it with another video. Um, I really just wanted to do this, man, because I really just wanted to vent. I want to let out some frustration um, amongst amongst the nation, man, amongst the Raider Nation. Uh, we suffered a bad loss last night. Not only uh, score, not only record-wise, standing-wise, right, in the division, in the conference. Um, you know, uh, Jalen Richard went down, Alec Ingold. You know, these are these are backs that we need um, not only offensively, but, you know, blocking wise, you know, they do their thing um, behind, you know, behind the O-line. You know what I mean? When when the play happens, these backs are blocking back there for Carr. And that kind of brings me to why I'm doing this video, why I'm kind of frustrated, why I feel like I need to vent. Um, you know, there, there's always been a, a division in our fan base when it comes to car, um, for whatever reason. You know, I think a lot of us forget what it was like, what it was once like without car. Um, it, you know, it, it wasn't that long ago, man, that we had guys like Carson Palmer, uh, you know, Charlie Fry. Bruce Gradkowski. Before them, it was Jamarcus Russell. So when you sit there and you really put the blame on Derek Carr for this loss, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm really, I'm honestly trying to reason with you guys and figure out what, what game that, you know, what game were you watching? What did it, what it, is it that you were seeing? that leads you to believe that the only thing i can really come up with man is that a lot of you guys are just used to blaming the quarterback for these kinds of losses because all those quarterbacks i just named jamarcus bruce gradkowski charlie fry all those guys we pretty much lose in those days our defense was eh but we pretty much kind of always were in games but not offensively. Our offense gave us zero chance of winning. And it was mainly because the quarterback could not make certain throws. Um, or if he did make certain throws, he just didn't have guys um, to get, you know, to make plays or get open. But I mean, those years were, were trash regardless. What, what I'm trying to get at here, man, is that I just think that we're so used to losing and we're so used to blaming the quarterback that it, it's so easy to just chalk it up and go, you know what, this is on car. And I'm sick of it, man. I'm really sick of it because let me tell you something, man. I know guys that are fans of other teams. I know a Tennessee Titans fan. I know a Green Bay Packers fan. Neither of those guys at least from my account, from my memory, neither of these guys blame, um, you know, Aaron Rodgers or, you know, Tennessee's quarterback. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but nobody blames their quarterback when we loot, when they lose, um, like us. And it's getting to the point to where I almost want the Raiders to start Marcus Mariota because if we do, you will see very fast why Carr is a starting quarterback and not Marcus Mariota. Don't get me wrong. Marcus Mariota is a good quarterback, but he's not meant to be a starting quarterback for our offense. Um, if you do that, you know, as far as start him, you will be pretty much relying on his legs and not his arm. And in today's game, the legs do get you some type of, you know, offensive whatever, you know, it gives you some, it gives you something to work with. But in today's game, you need an arm and legs. And Marcus Mariota does not have both. 
he hasn't he has legs but he doesn't have that much of an arm so i just want people to you know sit back and think about that <clears throat> but like you know the you know last night's game man I, I, like i said again kind of getting back to my first point i really don't understand how you guys are blaming Carr for the loss um Carr does not play defense he didn't go out there and give up 40 points i get what you you know you, most of your guys argument is oh well you know the offense didn't get, get anything going so the defense kept having to go back out there so they were tired yeah i, I get that man but at the same time you have to realize why our offense was not clicking and our offense was not clicking because of Carr. our offense was not clicking for the simple fact that they were doing stupid ass shit Carr is not on the offensive line jumping you know what i mean before the plays even called false start Carr is not catching a ball in open field and fumbling it inside the 10 yard line. Carr is not, you know, dropping passes or, you know what I mean? Carr did everything he possibly could. He can't hand these people the ball and say, here, catch it. Don't fumble it. Protect the ball. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand, man. I, I really don't. And I think people forgot almost that realistically the only reason at one point it was a game was because of Carr. we went into halftime down 17 7 and we're lucky that kansas city missed a field goal right because we would have been down 20 to 7 at halftime but in any case we came out of the the first half right into the second half and we scored a touchdown within three plays and that's another thing that I want to talk about. I don't understand why Deshaun Jackson, we didn't see him until the third quarter. I mean, he, he wasn't even out there on the field until the second half. And it's no coincidence that as soon as he comes out there, boom, Brian Edwards gets a first down. Or I'm sorry, Zay Jones gets, gets a first down. And then the next play, Brian Edwards gets a touchdown. That's no coincidence, man. When he's out there, he takes place of Henry Ruggs, right? Like, you know, it's a decoy. It's it's a distraction. Guys know, okay, this guy right here, he's got speed. He can get in the open field. If he catches it, he can, you know, break away speed. Like, he has all the qualities that Henry Ruggs has. He's just a little older. But it, it's just crazy to me how he wasn't involved until the third quarter when we were down two scores and then we get in you know we get in within a three-point game man and what happens the fucking defense gives it up again the defense for the most part has been the silver lining this whole this whole year but yesterday's game man there's no excuse there's no excuse man we were letting third down you know letting them convert on third downs um Guys were dropping interceptions. We had at least two or three interceptions that were dropped um, that would have gave us, obviously, another possession, you know, so another another attempt at scoring. Uh, I saw, I think, Brandon Faison force a fumble uh, from Tyreek Hill, and guys are just, just standing around looking at it. Like, nobody's trying to jump to the ball. Nobody's trying to recover the ball. Um shit like that man that shit like that is what makes me scratch my head and say it and this is this is car's fault I, I don't understand i don't understand um you know guys on the defense i saw were arm tackling you know just half-ass bullshit ass tackling like not even trying right like uh Travis Kelsey and you know the guys they were getting involved offensively uh, you know on Kansas City side like when they were in the open field man our guys are just standing around like they're not even trying to hit these guys you know hard you know like it, it, it's a big difference from 
like the games that we won, like the Baltimore game, Pittsburgh game, Miami game, like those games, we actually tackled for the most part. This game, I mean, they might as well just not had anybody out there on defense because these guys were just running all over us, you know, but that's Carr's fault, right? That, that's Carr's fault. Um, last thing, man, I mean, you know, if you look at Carr's stats, um, they're not that bad. It, it's pretty much, when you look at his stats, he had pretty much uh, a normal game, right? I think he was like 24, 34, uh, like over almost 300 yards. Some of those yards were in garbage time, I'm sure. He had two touchdowns. He probably would have had at least three or at least been responsible for, you know, a third touchdown had Deshaun Jackson not fumbled the ball inside the 10-yard line. Um, and like I said, he had a pick in garbage time. And it, it's funny to me because I was kind of watching people's lives and shit. And I really didn't hear any car. I mean, maybe I was just, I tuned in late. So maybe that's why. But once Carr threw that pick in garbage time, dude, that's really when everybody kind of like, oh, Carr, Carr, this is Carr's fault. Um, you know, we just need to let him go and blah, 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 blah. It's like, dude. The man had no open receivers. He's being chased literally like all around, like by the whole D-line, it seemed like, right? Like nobody blocked. And we're already down two scores. So you're telling me that if he throws it away, you'd be okay with that? Because that's 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 one of the main things that I hear out of these, you know, Raider fans' um, mouth is, oh, Carr just throws it away all the time. You know, he doesn't even try to make a play. Okay, so then when he tries to make a play, and by the way, his hand was tipped, right? His throwing arm was tipped as he's throwing that ball, and it happens to land into Kansas City's hands. But that's Carr's fault, right? I just don't get it, man. I, I don't get it. It, it. It's to the point, like I said, where I almost want Carr to retire so that you guys can see what kind of team we are without Carr? What kind of team we are with Mariota? What kind of team we are even without Mariota? Like, let's just get rid of both of them, Carr and Mariota. Let's just start over. Let's draft whoever you guys want to draft. Because um, I'll tell you right now, man, even if we don't draft a quarterback, even if we go out there and get Aaron Rodgers next year, okay, it doesn't matter who you have out there, man. You need a team to win. It's a fucking team game. Carr cannot do it on his own. I'm sick and tired of these fucking people saying, well, Carr needs, you know, he needs this to be successful. So he's not a real quarterback. He's not a winning quarterback. Dude, name me one quarterback that has ever not needed a supporting cast. Because when you look at the Mannings, when you look at the Tom Brady's, when you look at the Ben Roethlisberger's, the Russell Wilson's, all these guys had great supporting casts. They had great offensive linemen. They had great tight ends. They had great running backs. They had great receivers. They even, most of them had good defenses. Yesterday, we didn't have any of that. We literally gave up 40 points. And this is Carr's fault. I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. It would be different if Carr went out there, threw a bunch of interceptions, had a bunch of you know incomplete passes, had you know a you know few forced fumbles, um, you know overthrew guys like the New York Giants game. You know, for the most part, that was that was on Carr. You know what I mean? Offensively wise, that was on Carr. The difference in that game was the pick six that he threw, right? So I understand that. But to sit here and say that this game was on him, solely on him, and we need to get rid of him, I'm sorry, man, but you're, you, if you can, I know it was painful to watch, but if you can, go back and watch that game last night. Because I guarantee you, there was nothing, nothing wrong with what Carr did 
And if there was, it probably wasn't until garbage time, man. Because at that point, we were going to fucking lose the game. What are you going to do? You're going to try to score. You're going to try to force some plays. It is what it is. But we were in that game up until about middle, late to third quarter. And you know why that was? It was because of Carr. He gave us a fighting chance. He got, you know, he was hitting guys open. Guys were catching it. But really where I think we took a turn for the worst is that Deshaun Jackson fumble. And I know that didn't make, make or break the game. But in a way, it kind of did, man, because we were down 13 points. If Deshaun Jackson catches that ball and just takes a tackle or takes a knee or just downs it, whatever, we're literally inside the 10-yard line, and all we needed to do was score seven. We do that, we're only down six points, right? We would have been down 27-21 going into the fourth quarter. Or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever time that was. It was, it was in the third quarter, nevertheless. So, you tell me. Please go back and watch, and you tell me what the fuck you saw. Because again, I don't know, and I don't see why we should get rid of Carr and why we should sit here and bash Derek Carr for this game. You can call me a homer. You can call me whatever you want. You can disagree all you want. But at the end of the day, uh, he gives us the best chance to win. So if you take him out of the game or you take him out of the, uh, the you know, the depth chart, you just get rid of him. You're going to be realizing very quickly why he was our quarterback. And, you know, we're going to waste probably another five years um, trying to draft a quarterback or trying to grab a quarterback from another team, trying to make him adapt to our offense. Um, yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter who you have out there. You need guys that want to win. You need guys around you that want to win, that want to play the damn game. And last night, to be honest with you, Derek Carr, um, Hunter Renfro, um, at some points, you know, Brian Edwards, you know, I'm talking offensive wise, but for the most part, man, those were the only guys that really played like they wanted to win. Um, anyways, man. That's my rant. I'm sure a lot of you guys will will disagree. I'm sure you guys a lot of, a lot of you guys want to get rid of Carr, and that's fine, man. That that's fine because at the end of the day, um, once once he retires or once we get rid of him, whatever whatever happens after this season, because it's looking like more than likely this this ship is gonna is gonna sink and then we're gonna have to start over again. Um, I'd love to hear who you guys want as quarterback, and please don't say Marcus Mariota because he's not a starting quarterback. And he never really was one. Um, you know, he was in Tennessee, but they ended up pretty much figuring out what his game was. And that's why he's no longer starting quarterback. So in any case, man, like like I, like I said, that's my rant. Um, if you disagree, like I said, that's fine. Um, I, I really just would like to see how we do without Carr um, and what your guys' uh, comments are after after we get rid of Carr, after he retires. And we end up with, uh, you know, three and three and fourteen, you know, four and thirteen type of season. Um, yeah. Anyways, man, go Raiders. We need to bounce back against uh, Cincinnati. If we do that, that would be awesome. But yeah, at this point, I, I I don't I don't know. I really don't know. But let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Peace. Go Raiders.